Good morning. So, what's today? Today's Thursday. The kids had the day off of school. There was a snow day yesterday. I was gonna start vlogging yesterday, and then I always make the stupid mistake of leaving my vlogging camera at home when I'm actually doing stuff. So, yesterday was pretty like i don't know it was weird it's busy but it's pretty chill and laid back but at the same time i feel like i did a lot which i don't know if i actually did a lot okay, i went on a long walk in the morning after i dropped the kids off of school and it had been like snowing it started snowing like super early in the morning it was such a beautiful walk it just snowed all yesterday and it was a really fun walk with the dogs what are you eating talking to georgie we had the whole entire park to ourselves. Like, there, it was just, it was gorgeous. We got soaking wet, however. Georgie got soaking wet. Nuna could, like, her fur was pretty short, so she was fine. But it was such a gorgeous walk. But I did that in the morning, and it, like I said, continued to snow all day long, which is why the kids don't have school today, and our car doors are actually frozen shut right now, so we're not going anywhere. I came home, I did some work. I was working from home yesterday. Abe actually had yesterday off, has today off, has tomorrow off. Um, and then the weekend because of parent teacher conferences, which I was supposed to have today, but then was canceled because of the weather. And I'm really glad again because our car doors are frozen shut. So I took her to her orthodontia appointment, which is like super long. So I dropped her off there. And then I went to Costco where I was very disappointed to see that there was already summer and spring stuff out because I just feel like these stores like start stuff too early. <laughs> like. It's one thing if it were like nice out and we could actually look forward to summer and spring, but it was snowing and it was cold and it's just like more depressing to see the stuff out in public, knowing that like we're nowhere near that kind of weather to be able to use that stuff. Anyways, that was my day yesterday. What else did I do? I think that's pretty much it. Again, it seemed like it was full, but I really didn't do that much. Oh, and I picked up and dropped off kids. Not that big of a deal. That's very pretty. Did you trace that? No. You freehanded that? That's pretty good. Kaya just freehanded this drawing. Good job. And then there's these fur monsters. It is Friday morning. I just dropped the kids off at school. I am about to go get gas and then uh, I'm gonna go kind of hunker down at a coffee shop to get some work done. I feel like I need some time outside of the house working because I enjoy working from home, but since I spent six months working outside the home and leaving the home, it's kind of gotten like, I don't know, I need like time outside the home now or I start getting a little bit stir crazy because I'm not used to being home so much. I find my mind kind of drifting when I'm at home, when I'm trying to work. I also find myself not staying on task um, when it comes to like responding back to companies' emails and things like that when I'm at home because I get distracted by like wanting to do the laundry or clean or play with the dogs. So I'm gonna go outside of my house for a couple hours and just kind of concentrate on working. I'm also having coffee with somebody in a couple hours as well. So I'm just gonna, you know, like, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to center myself because there's a couple projects that I really need to figure out and I keep kind of procrastinating on them. So yeah, we're gonna go hit up a coffee shop that I really like and I totally forgot how many potholes were on this street and I'm regretting my life decision right now for being in this lane. The problem. That's part of the problem about living in the Midwest when it comes to the winter is that once the ice starts melting, all of the potholes come back out and it's like, surprise, let me f up your car. <laughs> oh, that one hurt. I'm home. I'm about to eat an early dinner because I have a soccer game at 7.40 and if I eat anywhere within two hours before my game, I get like really bad old lady heartburn and I just don't feel good. So I'm eating a fried rice bowl and a banana. Super healthy, right? With some sriracha, which probably won't help my heartburn. Dogs are eating as well up there. Uh, yeah, I basically spent the whole day working at the coffee shop because I was getting a lot of work done. And then one of my, oh my God, I just almost pulled a muscle. Ah, Charlie horse in my shoulder trying to take my best off. Ow. Yeah, I got a lot of work done and then I met with somebody who I used to work with at my old job who had left months before I left, who also had the same experiences with my former bosses. And it was just really, 
nice to talk to him for closure to know that like it wasn't my imagination and then also another employee i talked to who also left after like three weeks talking to her she had this she didn't have exactly the same experience as us but she had him in different ways like it just feels good to know that it wasn't my it wasn't and isn't my imagination that they are really awful people who discriminate badly and are not truthful with even the people that are buying their product like it just i just feel better i feel like i can finally like i have closure and i can finally close that chapter of my life knowing that like i did the right thing yeah i am at home i'm gonna eat i just cleaned the house a little bit i have laundry going i need to keep an eye on georgie to make sure she doesn't poop anywhere coming down here to poop she just learned how to go up and down the stairs which is a little bit upsetting because that means she can go anywhere now um, but it's so cute watching her come down the stairs i have to look at georgie's butt that's how you know if your puppy or your dog is gonna poop is if you, they sniff around and if their butt starts puckering. I know it sounds really weird, but if you have a dog whose tail curls up like mine, when their butts start puckering, that's when you know they're gonna poop. Like it's a good indicator. Just FYI for those of you who are getting a new puppy or have a new puppy. Yeah. It sounds so weird, but I'm like, look at her butt. Is it pink? Can I see your butt, Georgie? Can I see your butt? Turn around. Is your butt pink? Is it? Is your butt pink? Let me see it. Look how cute she is coming down the stairs. <gasps> but he's such a cute doggy. So interesting because because I discovered yesterday that my dogs are very different. Even though they're both Labradoodles, yes, one is smaller than the other. Yes, their colors are different. But while they're very similar in ways, which is why we probably connected with Georgie so quickly, they're also very different. Georgie loves the vacuum. Nuna completely terrified of the vacuum. Georgie will follow me from room to room just to like play and bark at the vacuum and like will be totally chill as I'm like vacuuming around her whereas Nuna like hates it. She runs away from the vacuum like it's gonna kill her and I just think it's so funny how different dogs are. Come on. Do you see with it that way? I don't know. Does that do <laughs> you do it Georgie? How do you see? Is that a good donut? <laughs> so somehow it's Sunday already and it's already March is March 1st, I believe, which is crazy to me, but I'm super excited because I think the weather's supposed to get finally warmer after we had that weird, like, snowstorm type thing. I'm basically doing laundry all day and just trying to do some cleaning that I've been avoiding, like, like dusting and, I don't know, laundry and dusting are the two things that I hate the most in regards to cleaning. That and clean, like, actually cleaning, cleaning and wiping down the, like, refrigerator. Those are the three things that if I could pay somebody to do them, I totally would. But yeah, I also did some plant splitting today. I'm excited because even though it's winter, none of my plants seem to understand that it's winter. This plant right here I'm super excited about because I just have potted it. All of those are from propagated strands from other plants that I had that I propagated in like less than a month and then it like became like all of those that whole shelf is all propagated stuff. Yeah, my plants have just really been loving life lately and I'm not sure what I've been doing. Maybe because I've been ignoring them. I don't know, I kind of tend to love on my plants a little bit too much and then they hate me, but I've been ignoring them and they've actually been doing really, really well. I brought my micans downstairs because as you can see, her leaves just started getting smaller and smaller. I don't think she was getting enough sun upstairs and I also repotted her. Like I took her out of her nursery pot and actually potted her in a bigger pot and she seems to be doing a little bit better. The more sun micans get, the more red they get uh, and velvety and the bigger the leaves get. So I thought I would bring her down here because my Brazil next to her seems to be really liking this light. The dogs are hanging out with the kids in Kaya's bedroom. Oh, so because I moved the micans out of the bathroom, I put a pothos in here and this is just like a variegated pothos. It actually, or pothos, I don't know. I said, I go back and forth calling it pothos or pothos. I don't figure know. It looks really nice sitting up here. It's a little bit fuller, more danglier. And then I also put a Sansevieria in here as well uh to that toilet paper doesn't normally go here yeah it's loving life as well in this nice little window above the toilet john actually complimented me and was like i really like the plants that you put in there he noticed john doesn't usually comment on plants but when he does it makes my heart happy so i'm just going to continue 
doing laundry. Oh, I also did some plant splitting over here too and rearranging. Oh, and on the other side. And then this pothos over here is still pretty happy. I put this here last summer, I think. I think that's when I put it here. But she's loving life too, even though I accidentally poured vodka into her the other week. If you follow me on Instagram, you already heard that. But the story behind that, because a lot of you guys were like, oh, I want to know what happened. I'm a little bit embarrassed, and I don't want you guys to think that me and my husband are alcoholics, because we're not. Uh, we don't, like, drink a whole ton. Like, we like our alcohol, but we don't, like, get hammered, and we're not, like, alcohol all the time or to have fun. Like, we don't need to have alcohol. But... When we're doing like mundane things like cleaning the house or whatever, John will pour himself a drink every once in a while. And we were out of cups because all of our dishes were like dirty and we've just been super busy and not been able to like keep up on our dishes. And it's really embarrassing to say, but y'all feel me if you have a family of five. And he like poured himself a drink in a Nalgene while he was cleaning to, and he left it on the bed because, you know, why wouldn't John leave glasses and cups all over our bedside stand, whatever. And yeah, he just like left it there, didn't finish it. I assumed it was water because people usually put water in Nalgene's. And sometimes I will just like pour whatever remnants of water that are in cups in like my plants that are near them if like they need watering. So I just grabbed John's Nalgene, not thinking, and then I poured it into that plant and I like smelled something like funny. I was like, that's not, that doesn't smell like water. And sure enough, it was like, I think Tito's and like cranberry, like with like melted ice in it or something. So like, you know how it like looks really, I don't know. His Nalgene was green too. So it didn't look like, I just, I don't know. So anyways, I immediately poured out whatever I drained out of the bottom of the plant and then gave it some fresh water and just prayed that it wouldn't die. And the funny thing is, is it's actually happier than ever. So <laughs> maybe plants just need a little alcohol every once in a while. It would be four times 10. Good. We're on our way to soccer. Wyatt's games this session, we moved up in age group, so his games are like in the evening, kind of later, which actually is kind of nice because the last game and this game and then two more games are right before my soccer game, so I don't have to go to the soccer place like four times a weekend. Instead, it's only three times a weekend for four different games. We're playing a team that Wyatt used to play for, so it should be interesting. And the team that I play afterwards should be a fun game too, so. Yeah, I probably oh. shouldn't have eaten as much as I just did. So we're going as a family to Wyatt's game. I just realized this music's on in the background. I'm gonna get a copyright strike. John's gonna bring the kids home and get Wyatt ready for bed because again, our kids are not used to having such late soccer games on weekdays. And Wyatt's a little monster if he doesn't get enough sleep. So is Kaya. So is all of, actually all of us are, except for John. John's gonna bring them home, put them to bed. And then one of my friends are gonna bring me home after my game, so. <laughs> what? Yeah. Are you guys gonna go out? Uh, I don't think so. Um, but anyways, I, yeah, I feel like I got a lot accomplished today. I got all of our laundry basically done and put away. You cleaned the whole room. Our bedroom is like even my side super is clean and dusted. I got a bunch of plants taken care of today. I cleaned some of the house. And I don't think Georgie, yeah, Georgie did have one accident in the house today, so. One bad she thing. peed on her own bed. Yeah, she walked downstairs, <laughs> got in her bed, and just peed right in front of all of us. <laughs> had a day where Georgie rang the bell to go outside, both to pee and poop, and then the next day she was like, just kidding, I'm gonna pee wherever. So it, this is the stage in a puppy's life where they kind of act like teenagers, where they like regress and are just like, forget you kind of thing. So hopefully this stage does not last long because I cannot, but. I think I'm still in that stage. <laughs> I do too, sometimes. <laughs> no. um, but yeah, so soccer, yay! Yay. Stop. You can film me. This is the weird thing about Georgie. Is she licks everything. Her favorite thing is to lick my legs after I lotion them up, which is super gross. But she's a cutie. We are emptying our closet. Going through all of our jackets because me and John are a little bit of uh, jacket hoarders. Jackets are the best. Jackets are the best. If I could, I would just collect all kinds of jackets. Oh, hey, why is my jacket on the kid rack? Is that yours? That's mine. Or Ava's? That's Ava, Ava's North Face is in your other hand. North Faces? I have four North Faces. <laughs> all of our kids are starting to get, like, ex like, clothing for all different seasons. That's the only... Ooh, he never even wore that. 
can wear the spring though. Yeah. <laughs> um, we live. Who's that? That was Ka Ava's. Oh, that's Ava's. But now it'll fit Wyatt. Now it'll fit Wyatt. That's why I kept it. North One, face that's Ava's North Face. So, one of the perks of living in a state with all seasons is that you get to experience all seasons, but one of the downfalls is that when you have lots of kids and then yourselves, you have to shop for all seasons in regards to clothing, and then you have to store those things places. John and I have realized over the last two and a half, three years, that we are just creatures of habit. Both of us wear the same exact crap all the time, as you guys see in the vlogs. Ooh, that thing bit me again. Oh, it's a little... That little alcohol monster? <laughs> Shut up. Alcohol. You're gonna make me sound like an alcoholic. Shut up. Ow. Mm. There's like a pinching inside of like my side right here and it hurts. Look, it's Kaya's vest too. Anyways. Um, Does Ava have a vest? Because we could be like the besties. Oh, jeez. There it goes again. Look, it's leak. biting me. I don't know is what it, it is. It hurts. Your liver's on that side. I bet you got a blown liver. You I only it. drank Remember twice this month. Remember thing said you had liver Ow. issues? No, that was potassium. Oh, it was liver, wasn't it? No, it was potat. No. It was liver because you didn't fast. I didn't fast for my blood test. Anyways, I'm getting off track. Long story short, John and I have realized we only wear the same damn things all the time. So why do we have so many clothes? You guys have seen me in vlogs, seen John in vlogs. We wear the same stuff all the time. Our kids are the same way. We're just gonna get rid of stuff. When you introduce something to me that is comfortable, then I'll wear it forever. But I'll wear it day after day after day. Um. Perfect example, John didn't want the t-shirt he's wearing right now, but I bought it for him anyways. I'm wearing the same exact t-shirt right now. John's been wearing his t-shirt for three days straight. Somebody's here. Who's here? I don't know. It's somebody in a black car. I don't know who that is. Me neither. Oh, it's the meter guy or something? Oh. Anyways. Did you order something from someone? I did not. Oh, you know what? I did order something from Amazon. Be the meter guy? I'm not the meter guy. Oh. <laughs> what guy are you? <ya? laughs> Hello? Why are you embarrassing yourself? I don't know. I don't know who it is. What is he doing? He walked up to the house and then walked away. Walked up to our house? Yeah. Hey. Georgie's behind you, Georgie's behind you. Did you just drive off? Yeah. Like he walked all the way up to the house? Yeah, it's like a clipboard or something. Why are you being so protective right now? Well, I want to know what he's doing. Did he walk up to anyone else's house? No. He just came, drove to our house, walked up to our house and left? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. George is licking Nuna's collar. And Nuna's just letting her. Because <laughs> she's just weird. She likes to lick him. Get, get, get. No, leave her alone. <laughs> Anyways, long story short, we're trying to clean out the closet and then we're gonna go move upstairs and clean out our bedrooms, which I think I'm gonna list a bunch of my stuff on Poshmark because my stuff's like barely worn and it's like nice stuff. John's stuff, however, he's kept because of sentimental reasons for 10 years, some 20 years. And I don't think anybody wants it. <laughs> Did it. Look how much room there is. It's so much better. I also put the soccer bags down further below so that the kids can get to their bags. So they're just hanging on this S hook, one on one side, one on the other. John's volleyball bag, my soccer bag, the leashes. John put a little hook up for me so I could put those up there. So excited. Got room, cleared out, more space. I get the most overwhelmed when there's just too much stuff in one spot and that's what the closet was feeling like. So there's a ton of jackets we had in there that did not fit anybody anymore, like I said. John just took a bag full of donation stuff and uh, yeah, yay. And then my Monstera is so happy right now in this corner. I moved Georgie over there, as you can see, which she's upset right now. I don't let her out when she's whining, so she just settled down so now I can let her out to eat. But I moved Georgie over here 
Uh, we just went and got some wood to make a kennel topper for her. So she'll be over there because Nuna's over here. Yeah, it just kind of opens up this room a little bit, having the kennels on the sides. It also gives me actually more tabletop space because her kennel is deeper than the end table that was there and it's taller which I really like because the lamp doesn't hit the couch at a weird angle anymore so I really like how high that kennel being there makes that instead of the end table from Ikea but it just really opens up this area and uh, the Monstera looks really nice there. I need to take that price tag off of that pothos. Seriously though look how crazy this Monstera has gotten. It's so big and healthy and beautiful. 10 bucks best purchase. I bought four of them. <laughs> One of the most confusing parts so far that I found about working on YouTube and online is trying to figure out all of the lawyer legal jargon. Not easy. <laughs> There's so many times where I'm just like, what am I signing my life away to if I agree to this? You really have to have a lot of trust in the company and the people and whatever, which is why I'm super selective of who I work with. You guys know that. I've been screwed over quite a few times. Luckily, I've learned more the longer I've been doing this, but still, I feel like the words and terms in general and restrictions and disclosures and all that just keep getting more and more complex. The kids are home. Can you hear that? John took Wyatt to soccer practice. Well, I made dinner, so that's in the oven, and then cleaned more. I cleaned up the kitchen, and then I cleaned up an accident of Georgie's. Like I said, I think I mentioned this. I think she's regressing, and it drives me insane. She was doing so well, and then now she's like, just kidding. <laughs> but she's still really, really good, so I can't really complain too much. Yeah, now I'm just trying to figure out this contract and sign it, get some work done, and then eat dinner and get these kids to bed. I only got three hours of sleep last night. I need to sleep more tonight. I would really like to work out tomorrow, take the dogs for a walk like I normally do early in the morning, and get some work done with Amanda. That is my goal for tomorrow, and to edit this vlog. That is my goal. It is Thursday. Skip to Thursday. I just got back from dropping the kids off and going to the gym. I hadn't been to the gym in probably almost a year, which is insane. Yeah, I wanted to get back to the gym though, just because my lower back's been killing me. I haven't been doing yoga as much as I normally do. Usually, like I said, my workouts are kind of cyclical. I play soccer during the winter, which I'm actually gonna extend that into the summer now, which is kind of fun. I'm excited to play soccer year round because it's honestly, I have never been skinnier. <laughs> like after kids uh, playing soccer twice a week, like it's been amazing and I enjoy it as you guys know, but I'm gonna do that throughout the year, but usually I only do it during winter, then come spring, I'll start yoga again and then I'll do yoga outside and at classes during the summer and at home and then it kind of just repeats itself. I don't even know what I was trying to say. Do you guys ever talk so much that you just forget what you're saying? Like I'm gonna record, like I'm gonna edit this video back and just be like, what the hell was she saying? I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm really excited because I went back to the gym after a really long time of not being at the gym and pretty stoked. And don't judge me. I know I go through these spurts of, oh my God, I'm going to the gym every day and then I don't, but that's just who I am. Like, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do now because it's like almost 40 degrees out, which again, that's Ohio summer. I may take the dogs for a walk. I haven't told them yet. Girls being needy. You want to go for a walkies? Yes. Aww. Did you guys have a good walkies? Did you have a good walkie? Yes. I am so tired and I feel like I'm a little wind burnt. I uh, just did about an hour and a half walk with the dogs. So hopefully, well, yeah. They're good and tired. I'm gonna let you guys go though. I feel like this is a good place to let you go since it's been like two weeks of filming. And as usual, I have no clue what's on this vlog. I will talk to you guys all soon. I do have a period video coming up soon. I have my favorites video that I wanna do for you guys soon. I also think I'm gonna do a get ready with me video because some of y'all asked for that. And um, I have a lot of PR packages that I've been getting over the last couple months and I figured it'd be fun to do a get ready with me using like all of that stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to doing my sit down filming in this next coming week now that life is kind of settled down and I'm back to myself. So yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the positive vibes on my last video. I tried to comment back to as many people as I could. Um, you guys are the best. I really appreciate you and I'll talk to you guys soon.